Hello, my dear students, my well researchers, and boys and girls. Welcome to my channel and easy step to English grammar. And after a long time, I have appeared before you just with some grammatical items. And it suggests that grammarian's funeral has not yet been done. And at the very beginning of this lesson, I should remind you that you should subscribe my channel, like, share, comment, so that I may be enthused and encouraged to appear before you with tidbits of grammar. Thank you very much, my dear students, and let us start. My first item is use of hardly when. Hardly when. For example, number one, I got down from the train at Siona Station. Siona Station. Full stop. I heard a gentleman shout Kuli Kuli Okay And you are asked to combine these sentences by using hardly when That means immediately after It means immediately after and let us solve the problem. Answer. Hardly had I got down from the train at Shiala Station when I heard a gentleman when I heard a gentleman shout cooling Okay. Hardly. Had I. Hardly is negative word. Hardly, barely, scarcely, rarely. All these words are negative words. And that is why the auxiliary verb precedes the subject I. Hardly. Had I got down from the train at Sialda station when I heard a gentleman shout Kuli Kuli Okay? And if you use did don't skip a single sentence If you use did then what will be the solution? Hardly did I get down because did is past tense and the principal verb will be in the present tense. Hardly did I get down from the train at Sialda station when I heard a gentleman shout, Kuli Kuli. 
clear and let us deal with the same sentence suppose you have been asked to use as soon as for example you have been asked to use as soon as for example as soon as As soon as I got down, I'm sorry, as soon as I got down, from the train, Axial the host station, Comma, you must put a comma. As soon as I got down from the train at Seattle station, I heard sorry. I heard a gentleman. Shout. That means to shout. Shout. Kuli. Kuli. Okay. This is the use of as soon as. And if you are asked to use no sooner, what will you do? I have given the same sentence. I am using hardly when. As soon as and no sooner had. For example, what will you do? Answer No sooner. Had I, no sooner had I got down from the train, no sooner had I got down from the train at the Seattle station at Seattle Station Then I heard a gentleman Then I heard a gentleman Shout Curry Okay. No sooner had followed by then. No sooner had I got down. No sooner is negative adverbial. So had has preceded the subject I. And if you use do or did, what will be the effect? No sooner did I get down from the train at Siamdao station than I heard a gentleman shout Kuli Kuli. Clear? Did I get down? Did is past tense. Therefore, you will have to use get down the principal verb. Now, I have used Three sentences 
by using hardly when as soon as and no sooner had now let us come to exclamatory and assertive exclamatory and assertive for example number 1 what a wonderful sight what a wonderful sight i witnessed not a exclamation so it is an exclamatory sentence what a wonderful sight i witnessed and in the assertive sentence you will have to write i witnessed a really a really a wonderful sight okay this is an exclamatory sentence from this is an assertive sentence from exclamatory to assertive number 2 how funny how funny it is how funny it is not a explanation that is a matter of fun then what will you write it is greatly a funny thing or it is really a funny thing it is really a funny thing so it is really a funny thing or it is greatly a funny thing or it is a very funny thing whatever you like it is really a funny thing it is greatly a funny thing it is a very funny thing okay let us take another example <clears throat> number 3 what are shocking what are shocking news there is no verb in the sentence but you have been asked to transform it into an assertive sentence so what is shocking news that means the news was very shocking assertive sentence the news was very shocking or it was a very shocking news it was a very shocking news etc clear now come to another point from affirmative to negative or from negative to affirmative for example you say i am reluctant to 
go to the place with you with you and you have been asked to transform it into a negative sentence reluctant means unwilling just the different word or the opposite word you will have to use so what will you write i am not willing i am not willing to go to the place with you so not willing is negative and negative sentence and it is affirmative you must not change the meaning of the sentence the spirit of the sentence remember it let us take another example number 2 he never he never told a lie he never told a lie so never is negative word so it is a negative sentence and you have been asked to transform it into an assertive sentence Sorry, affirmative sentence. Then what will you write? First of all, it may be the interrogative sentence. It may be the interrogative sentence. Has he ever? Has he, sorry. Did he ever? Did he ever tell a lie? Did he ever tell a lie? And the answer is, he never told a lie. It may be interrogative and it may be affirmative. Interrogative plus affirmative. Did he ever tell a lie? No, he never told a lie. Clear. So let us stop the class tonight and the next day I shall appear before you with much information or more grammatical items I promise and I think that I am able to give you